So if you're looking to make a static skybox, which is just one image in your Unity 3D game, where the skybox renders behind everything in the game, and stays the same regardless of camera position or rotation, you should continue watching this tutorial. I have currently got a little setup. I have a camera. I have a couple of 3D models, a directional light and an event system. My camera has a controller. Let's look at the code. So this code is completely irrelevant for the tutorial. I just want to show you as proof that we are moving the camera as opposed to rotating the models. So to create our skybox, we're firstly going to right click in our hierarchy and go to UI. Then we're going to go to canvas and we're going to call it canvas. And it's really important for the render mode, you set it to screen space camera. And basically the reason why we want to do screen space camera is we want to render a UI image that's behind everything, which isn't possible with an overlay canvas because it renders on top of everything. Then in the canvas, we're going to right click and go to UI and make a UI image. We're going to call this our skybox, which is our static skybox. And then you want to basically drag and drop a sprite for the source image and then resize it accordingly. So I'm gonna make it 1080p. And you might be thinking, okay, Max, it's currently on top of everything. Well, you need to do one more thing. For your canvas, you need to set a render camera. So make this your main camera. And as you can see, the models are now on top of the background. You might need to edit your plane distance value if stuff is still behind the skybox but the default seems to work for me. So let's save our work and hit play. So as you can see, we are currently moving the camera about. In fact, what I'll do is I'll put the game view down here and I will select the camera and move about. So as you can see, we are moving the camera around the 3D models rotating. And as you can see, the canvas basically follows the camera, which is great. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more Unity tutorials. Thanks for watching.